here we're going to look at finding the least common multiple of two expressions. So this one and this one, um, or these two terms. So think of least common multiple for numbers. I need a number that 8 and 10 both go into. So it's definitely going to be bigger than 8 and 10. So I can kind of brainstorm like 10, 20, 30. Those don't work for 8. 10, 20, 30, 40. Seems like 8 goes into that. I know it's the smallest one because I was going kind of in order with 10, with 20 and 30 not working. And so we can stop and think, okay, 40 seems like the smallest thing. Now picture, since it's always a value that's larger, like if I'm looking at like something with w to the seventh, the smallest thing that w to the seventh could divide evenly into would be w to the seventh, right? Something divided by itself is one, I can't go any lower than that. So see how that's enough to cover this and it's already more than enough to take care of this one. So you don't need anything extra. w to the seventh goes into the w to the seventh and w to the sixth goes into w to the seventh because it's smaller than it. Um, so the variables are almost easier. Their factors kind of aren't hidden. And so to take care of this u to the eighth, I'll need a u to the eighth. If that's going to divide into it, it better be there, right? Think divide into it evenly means it's got to cancel. And then for the x's, this one I need at least an x to the fourth. And notice how that's already more than enough for that one. And so you need everything that's in here, but nothing extra. So you're pretty much your highest exponents, but because something can divide into itself is the least amount you could possibly do. So 40w to the seventh, u to the eighth, x to the fourth.